Nine band armadillo is becoming a familiar face here in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, you see them. All right, mm -hmm. News Channel 5's Kristen Scovira is taking a closer look at the armored animal. Smaller in size. This is Pele. This armadillo is not what you've been seeing around here. He is a three-banded armadillo. Erin Gray is the animal ambassador at the Nashville Zoo. She says the armadillos entering Tennessee are similar. They are relatives to what you're going to see moving into Tennessee, but these guys are found in Colombia, Argentina, Paraguay. Sadly, even Gray says many residents only see them on the side of the road, victims of a survival instinct that isn't terribly effective. And they'll actually jump up into the bumper of oncoming cars before they can actually make their getaway. So what about the rumors of these guys carrying disease? It's not really that big of a deal. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I love them, but <laughs> I, you would really have to go to a big extreme to actually contract leprosy from these guys. Grace says the good, like these guys being natural insecticides. Grubs and worms to termites, beetles. Outweighs the bad. So why are they showing up in Tennessee, so far away from Texas, New Mexico, or Central America? We are seeing them more and more here in the southeast, mainly because our climate is kind of changing where it's matching. Texas. So besides burrowing in yards and jumping in front of cars, these guys are just another Nashville novelty. And it's going to take a lot of a long period of time for them to make any detrimental uh, impact on the environment. In Nashville, Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5.